Welcome back sa ating FB page at sa ating YouTube channel na Parihong Solving Math with Leonalyn. Medyo matagal na rin ako hindi naka-upload sa FB page na ito. So, sa video ito, ang sagutan natin, ito ay random post pero hindi ko sasabihin kung saan kasi ang nagtatanong nito ay estudyante. Sa video ito, itong 1 and 2, addition of mixed uh, fractions or mixed numbers. Tapos sa next na video, ito namang dalawa na mga subtractions of mixed numbers or mixed fractions. Number one, Alan jog three and one fourth kilometers yesterday, five and one third the day before, and six and one third kilometers today. The question is, how far did he jog on three days? So, ang gagawin lang natin ay i-add lang natin itong tatlong mixed numbers na ito. So, we have 3 and 1 fourth. I-double check muna natin. Ito lahat ay kilometers. Okay? So, we have 5 and 1 third. Then, 6 and 1 third. Addition of mixed numbers or mixed fractions. Sa addition of mixed fractions, pwede na nating i-add itong mga whole numbers. 3 plus 5 plus 6 and this is 14. Next, itong mga fractions natin ay dapat pariho yung denominators. Kaya hanapan natin ang least common denominator. Para sa pinakadetali kung paano hanapin yung least common denominator, pwede niyong isearch sa ating YouTube channel. Least common denominator, idugtong lang yung lunalin para mas madaling ma-sort out yung dati na nating na-upload regarding dito. Meron tayong detalyeng solusyon, mga examples kung paano hanapin yung least common denominator. So, ang mga denominators na nandito, we have 4 at dalawang 3. Ang least common denominator dito ay 12. So, maglagay tayo ng 12. 12 divided by 4 and that is 3. 3 times 1 equals 3. 12 divided by 3 and that is 4. 4 times 1 equals 4. 12 divided by 3 and that is 4. 4 times 1 equals 4. So, kopyahin natin yung denominator na 12. Yung mga numerators. 3 plus 4 plus 4 and this is equal to 11. So, ang sagot dito ay... 14 and 11 over 12. Next, number 2. An electrician has two pieces of wires. One is 6 and 1 half meters long and the other is 10 and 3 fifth meters long. How much wires does the electrician have in all? Ibig sabihin, mag tayo. So, we have 6 and 1 half plus 10 and 3 fifth. 3 fifth. Again, sa addition of mixed fractions, pwede na natin i-add yung mga whole numbers natin. 6 plus 10 and this is 16. Yung mga fractions natin, kailangan natin hanapan ng least common denominator. At ang least common denominator dito ay 10. So, lagay na natin yung 10 sa denominator. 10 divided by 2 and that is 5. 5 times 1 equals 5. 10 divided by 5 and that is 2. 2 times 3 equals 6. So, kopyahin natin yung denominator na 10, yung numerators. 5 plus 6 and this is 11. Now, ngayon, itong fraction na 11 over 10 that is improper fraction. So, kailangan natin yung i-convert to mixed fraction or mixed numbers. Ganito lang yan. Simplihan lang natin. 11 divided by 10. Ilang 10 sa 11? Isa lang. 1 times 10 and that is 10. 11 minus 10 equals 1. Yang 1 na yan, Yan yung whole number. Ito naman, yung remainder, yan yung numerator at kopyahin yung 10 na denominator. So, in other words, itong 11 over 10, ilang 10 ba sa 11? Isa lang. Tapos, 11 minus 10, 
1. Yan yung numerator at kopyahin yung 10 na denominator. Next. Yung whole number nating 16, i-add natin sa 1. So, 16 plus 1 and that is 17. Tapos yung fraction natin na 1 over 10. So, ito na yung sagot. 17 and 1 over 10. Thank you for watching and all I hope mayroon kayong naintindihan sa video ito. Thank you and God bless.